Hi, in this video we're going to show you a file manager app that you could use instead of File Explorer or in addition to File Explorer. You could actually use them both. So it's called XYplorer, if I'm saying that correctly. So this one is not free, so we normally like to do you know reviews for free stuff, but this one is not. But they do offer a 30-day fully functional trial, and then it's only $15 if you want to buy it. Alright, so after you install it, you can just open it up like so. So it has a you know kind of similar interface to File Explorer. So this has a lot of features, so we're going to go over some of them. Obviously, we're not going to be able to go over everything. All right, so you have the, this PC view like you do in File Explorer. Then you have your tabs up here as well. And you can add new tabs. And you have your tab list if you want to see them. And you can have your navigation bar right here, back, forward, up, and down. And then you have right-click options. You know, most of them are the same as File Explorer. Uh, you do have some special ones here, like this extra zip one. Uh, rename special if you want to do some special file renaming. Open in other pane. If you want to have a dual pane thing like that, you could do that. And you could right-click, close the pane. And you could also right-click here. New tab, clone the tab, close the tab, close this pane, and so on. Then you can do things like copy the path if you want. So if we do that, like so, paste it into somewhere else. And then you can open it in a new tab, a new pane, and so on. Uh, properties, which will be the same as File Explorer. A lot of these other options are the same as File Explorer. Then you have this Show 64-bit Context Menu, which will give you some additional options here. Kind of like the uh, Show More on the regular Windows 11 right-click option. And then you have an address bar up here as well, if you want to type something in there. Some details down here. And so on. Alright, then up here, if you want to see a different view of your tools, toolbar button set, like so, extra tools, like that. Or if you want to have just the one here, you could hide the menu up here as well, if you don't want to have the text menus. All right, so let's kind of go through a couple of these at the top. We have your, you know, back and forward and up. Go back to this PC. Uh, recently accessed locations. So if you want to have a quick way to get to a folder you've recently been to, go to previous, copy, cut, paste, so on, new folder, undo, redo. Uh, this is kind of nice, open with. So let's go to a text file here. You can see how it changes depending on the file here, PDF. And then you could customize the file association if you want to do that. All right, then we have a find option here. So a lot of nice search features here. Different modes, matching case, path, and so on, the location, subfolders, filters, you know, size and date and attributes, tags, contents, duplicates, exclusions. Then when you switch to this top row, it kind of goes out of the search feature and shows you just kind of like a summary screen here. So properties, the version, meta preview if there is one. Let's find something that has a preview here. Like so. See, it puts the trial on it though. Raw view tags. Back to find and reports. Alright, then we have the quick search. So let's go somewhere. Let's look at pictures. So when you do the quick search, it's only going to search in the folder you're in. It's not going to search everything like the other search. So you have some option here for matching case and whole words and so on. So if we search for Hawaii, then you can see it finds everything with Hawaii in that folder. Okay, let's close out the search. Uh, we have visual filters. So right now it's set to image files. So if we do that, it's only going to show images. And we also have some other options here. So if you wanted to see just text files, you know, you could type in star dot whatever you want to see just those kind of files. And you have some other filters up here. All right, then this is the tree path tracing. So if we turn that on, it'll kind of show you a path over here to where you are, this PC, 
to the Todd as user folder pictures. And then if we go to here, it'll kind of expand it there as well. Then you can turn that off. Then you have your dark mode. Enable color filter. So this kind of filters it based on the type of folder it is. And you could actually change how this works if you want to you know, get away from the default because it's not super easy to understand unless you really dig into it. All right, then we have custom file icons. So you could customize this to kind of you know, set different colors for different types of files and folders. And then we have the column layouts if you want to change it to one of these types. Uh, views, you know, list, thumbnails, so on, details. Uh, dual pane, if you want to do that, then you could add your tabs up here. Info panel, which we saw before. You could also minimize it from here too. Preview pane. Like so. And then configuration. So lo lots of different options here. So you spend quite a bit of time going through here. All right now, let's go over some of these menu items at the top here. All right, clipboard renaming special, which we saw move open with. Duplicate, different options for copying, uh, delete, rename, file special, check in properties, view metadata, quick file view, floating preview, like so. Save your settings, special settings, restart and exit. Go back to your recent file operations, cut, copy, append, paste, backup to. I'm going to pick a folder to back something up to. Compare. New options, new items. Select options. Back to the search. Repeat your last search. Quick search. Change your views. Sorting options. Column options. Tab options. You want to see the mini tree view? You could do that. Paper folders, view settings, refresh settings, calculate folder sizes. That's a nice feature. See, it puts the folder sizes there, which File Explorer doesn't do. Show options if you want to check or uncheck some of these. All right, go to previous location, go to the top, uh, breadcrumbs. Kind of gives you a path, a little pop out here of where you're at. I see your drives as a pop out. Back forward history, recent locations, hot list, tab list. Here's your open tabs. Go to, enter a destination, and so on. All right, then you have your favorites. So if you want to manage your favorites and add favorites to there, you could do that. And some tags if you want to apply some labels to something. Like so. You could create some tags, add comments, export your tags. Uh, some scripting options. I haven't looked into this, but you can check that out if you want in the help. Panes, if you want to have the dual pane, you can do that. Swap the panes, toggle active pane. Obviously, you have to have the panes open to use uh, these options here. Sync and browse, sync the folders, and so on. Uh, new tabs. That makes a new tab set. And you could go to your tab set folder and view your tab sets from here. Configuration. That'll bring you back to the options, another way to get to it. Customize keyboard shortcuts. 
uh, view your different window options, and so on. All right, so as you can see, there is a lot to it. And like I said, some of these I've never checked out because I didn't find any use for them. So you might want to check that out on your own if you're interested in seeing how some of these features work. But I just wanted to give you just a brief overview and just kind of show you, you know, what the various options are that you have to work with. All right, so I will put a link in the description for XY Plore if you want to check out the free trial and then you can see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.